What's going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to set up indicators on Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade in 2020. One And I've been getting this question a lot. Stas, how do you set up your indicators? What indicators do you use on Thinkorswim? So I figured, let me make a quick, short, simple, straight to the point type of video today to tell you guys exactly what I do. So if you all find value, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, get yourself some free stocks, link down below, and let's get right into the video. So what you guys see right here is is my current setup. It's nothing crazy. I don't have a ton of indicators, but what I do use are moving averages. I have a 180 simple moving average, this gold or yellow line, whatever color you want to call it, guys. I have this green line here, which is a 50 simple moving average, and I have this light blue line, which is an exponential moving average. And under that, I have volume, right? And under that, I have the RSI, also known as the Relative Strength Index, which I'll link a video down below in the description box if you guys want to learn more about the RSI itself. And literally, that's all I use. A lot of other people use VWAP, right? I personally don't use that too much. A lot of people use MACD. I don't use MACD too much. Literally, this is all I use. Moving averages, RSI, and volume. So this is what it looks like, right? And you obviously clicked on this video because you want to see how you can get the indicators on your screen, right? So let me show you guys exactly how to do that. Let me open up a new window here. And by the way, on Thinkorswim, you can open up a bunch of different windows. You can have a bunch of stocks on your screen, right? And when you open up a new window, and let's say we put Grubhub here, same stock, it's not going to have the indicators, right? Which is why I want to show you guys here on a fresh page. So let me just move this to the left here. Um, and you guys can see it here on your screen. There's literally no indicators on this uh, screen. So what do you do? Well, first thing you do is you go to studies, right? You go to studies, you click edit studies, and then you have all of these different studies or indicators, right? There's so many out there, guys. But again, I use the simple ones, right? EMA, SMA, RSI, that's literally all I use. So what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to go and hit simple, and we're going to see simple moving average. We drag that to the right, right? We want to put that, or actually we can just, uh, you know, click apply simple moving average here, or add selected rather. Then it adds it right here to the price. You have the simple moving average. And then you could add another one since we have two simple moving averages in my case. And then we can add an exponential moving average or moving average exponential, right? You add that as well. So now what you want to do is you want to actually edit the moving average itself, right? Because it's set at different, um, you know, time periods here. All of these are nine, right? We don't want them all at a nine price interval or the length being nine. We want one, again, at, at 180. We want a 180 SMA. We're going to do that here, 180. So we hit OK. We want one that's a 50 SMA. So we're going to do 50. And you guys could do whatever you want, right? A lot of people use, you know, 200 SMA. Some people use, you know, uh, 40 SMA, whatever. You can do whatever you want. But for me, the way I set it up is 180 SMA, 50 SMA here. Um, we're going to do that. Boom, right there. And then for the moving average exponential, um, which is the EMA, I just leave it the way it is at nine, right? So that is how I set up the moving averages, guys. Literally that simple. Two SMAs, one EMA. And then you could do, like I said before, I mean, you could do MACD. I mean, you could if you want. You can add it into, um, I, I usually put it in the volume here, um, but at the lower tab, um, this is where you want to put RSI, or at least that's where I put it, right? Relative strength index. And that really shows you whenever a stock is overbought or oversold. And I think that's very useful, especially me being a swing trader. So relative strength, that's where we put it. Actually, no, is that, is that not it? No, that's the wrong one, guys. Um, where is it here? Uh, relative strength. Is that it? Yeah, that's it, I'm pretty sure, right? So we're going to put that on the bottom. Let's edit this one a bit. Actually, no, this is not it. What the heck, guys? Let me do RSI. There it is. It's not relative strength. It's RSI. There we go. 
Um, well, it is called the relative strength index, but for some reason here, um, relative strength is a different one. So type in RSI in the studies and it should pop up for you here. And you could put that at lower. Um, and since I don't use MACD, I'm just going to get that out of the volume. And that's literally it, guys. And if you want to edit your RSI, you could. I mean, take a look here. The length is at 14 on RSI. I usually keep it there. Um, overbought is 70. So when the stock is getting very overbought and you see on the RSI, the, the trend line is getting closer and closer to 70, that means it's overbought, right? And if it gets closer and closer to 30, that means it's oversold. So we're going to keep it there, um, 70 and 30, click OK. And then we literally click Apply, and then we hit OK. And that's what it's, uh, it's looking like here, guys, right? And if I pull back a bit, 184 hour chart, this is what it looks like. And it should look pretty similar to what we're seeing here um, on the left screen, which does have them already in, right? You guys can see that. And if you want to change the color of your, um, you know, moving averages here, you go back to study, edit studies, you hit this, and then you can go down here and click your colors, right? So if you want to do the 180 SMA gold, like we did before, 50 SMA, you want to do it, um, you know, in, in uh, green, you can do that as well. And then the moving average or the EMA rather, you just keep it light blue. Then you hit OK. And there you go. That is literally how you set up uh, the moving averages, the indicators, the way I have them set up. Down here, you have RSI at, at your lower uh, portion of the chart. You have volume on top of that. And that's all I do, guys. And another pro tip. This is a very good tip here that you guys should pay attention to. Notice how on the left side here on the left chart, there's a lot of space to the right of the chart. A lot of people ask me, Stas, how do you get that space to the right of the chart? Well, let me show you, because honestly, if the chart's all the way to the right, you can't really do much um, analysis on where it could go in the future, if that makes any sense, right? You can't draw out different scenarios like, OK, it's going to break out here. It's going to go up this way. You don't have the space to do that. So if you want to add that space, let me show you how to do that. Um, all you got to do is click right click on your mouse. You go down here to uh, style. You go up here to settings, right? And then you have this uh, nice layout here. You go to the third tab on the top. It, it's uh, it's called time axis, right? And you see this button here called, or this little area called expansion area. Well, that's what you want to change. This is at zero, right? So there's zero expansion to the right, but you want to change it. Let's say 100, 50, 150, doesn't matter. This is what you have to kind of play with and see where you guys like it. But for me, I put it at 130, right? That's the same uh, number I have on the left chart here. And if I click apply and I, and I hit OK, then you guys can see, boom, what do you guys see there? exactly what you see on the other chart we were able to add space to the right so overall guys that's pretty much it very short video this is probably my shortest video ever i'm um, just showing you guys how to set up indicators on thinkorswim by td ameritrade in 2021 and beyond so let me know your thoughts or do you do you use the same setup as me uh do you use other indicators let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and if you guys did find value in this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and again check out all the free links down below the discord chat the facebook Facebook group. And if you guys want some free stocks, check out the Webull link down below. Check out the M1 Finance link as well. You can get 10 free dollars from M1 Finance. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching as always. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace out.